Hey there, I'm Kit, I'm Literate, and in this video I will be reading The Princess Will Save You. I already forgot the writer's name, and I just looked at it. This is actually a book that I read a couple of weeks ago, so I don't have it with me. It was a library book, and I had to, you know, give it back to the library. I was recently actually editing this video, but during the edits, I noticed that my very first clip for this wasn't that great. I wasn't into it, and I just thought that it would be easier to re-record an opening for this video. So here we are. I don't really know what else to say to introduce this video, so I'm just gonna let you get right on into it and watch me read The Princess Will Save You. Okay, so like, what an opening. It's only been a couple minutes since we last talked. Oh my god. So we have this scene where the main character, Amarande, um, and this guy who she was like best friends with as kids, and they've sort of grown into something a little bit more, but he is the stable boy, Luca. Um, they are practice fighting. It's like really cute. I was so hopeful that like, ooh, we're gonna see the relationship like thrive. I can't wait to see all these cute little moments between them. It's gonna be so good. The general, the main character is the princess, I assume. I don't know why I told you that. I assume you would know. The general for like the, the leader of the army um, comes racing up to her and she's like, oh boy, what's going on? Her dad died the king. He was supposed to be off on a charity mission giving food to like poor kids or something like that and he comes back. Well, he doesn't come back. That's the problem. He died somehow. Like, things I wasn't expecting from the opening of this book? Definitely that. I knew we were gonna get like something, but like Damn, chapter one, the end of chapter one, page, this book starts on page 11, I don't understand that, but, uh, page, page 15, just, boom, damn, that's tragic. Okay, I know I shouldn't be giving updates after every single chapter, can you imagine? But the king's death is super suspicious. And the fact that like he has a council, because as you know, all kings have a council. And the council members are like, hey, yeah, let's talk with the princess, obviously, about her future. Um, but they don't get a seat for her. They like purposefully make sure that she knows they have a seat for everybody in that room, but for her. That's super suspicious. Paired with just the fact that the king died in general, like they say it was from like a heart attack or some sort of thing, that he was just drinking some water and all of a sudden he's dead. Like does that not just sound like the perfect poisoning? Like, full on, I'd look at that and I'd go, that's a poisoning right there. I'm not sure how I feel about the general, because she supposedly was like the king's lover, that's what I'm getting from so far in the story. She's very close to the princess, but she's also like the one who would be the ruler, the regent, until they can find a new ruler. So it's like kind of suspicious, like I want to like her and I want her to be a good person, but I'm also like, you have the most to gain currently from the king dying, and so I just can't rule you out. But anyway, also, uh, speaking of this book, so any heir to the throne has to be male, you know, they're one of those kinds of places, and the king never had a son, he only had his daughter, the main character. So she's like begging with the council, not really begging, she's just point blank telling them like, listen here you little fucks, I'm gonna be the ruler now because I'm like 
the king's child. And they're like, oh no, you're a girl, you have to get married. And she's like, so change the law. And I haven't read chapter three yet, um, besides the first sentence, just because my eyes went past it, but the first sentence of chapter three is, they did not change the law. Of course they didn't, because when is a king's council ever competent? Like, they just seem super suspicious. They're saying, like, well, they and the princess, the main character, are like, oh, what if somebody else from one of the neighboring kingdoms tried to kill the king? Like, totally, 100%, I do not believe that. Full on, it is something inside. It is either one of those council members or it is the general. Okay, we're walking and talking. Uh, I had to take the dogs to the vet this morning because they needed their shots updated. Hi, I'm over here. And um, let me tell you, that's a stressful experience. Six dogs, one vet, all at once instead of uh, in twos like we normally do because scheduling. We'd be out the week after the vet gets back. That's out the week that would be good for us, whatever. So I just came back from that. It's 9.30ish. I'm making myself some damn breakfast. And um, the other thing that I wanted to say, so last night I finished. Hi, get away from me. The arc that I was reading. So now I can like officially pay attention to The Princess Will Save You. I also, it was really funny, I got an email this morning, I just like saw the subject of it, I haven't opened it yet, that's uh, saying, hey, you should request volume one of Yashahime, which I just thought was so funny because I'm currently wearing an Inuyasha shirt. Like, of all days to say, hey, request Yashahime volume one, but I'm gonna make myself coffee and close the bread because uh, that requires two hands and the phone, the phone, the camera doesn't have legs. So yeah, I'll tell all the little embarrassing details that the dogs are gonna go, no, don't say that, we're so embarrassed. So we get there, Savannah is known to be a pooper when she gets nervous. Uh, she's done it to me once before, all over me, thanks. But normally she's pretty okay, she doesn't do it that often, but of course normally we only take two dogs and this time we were taking all six, so I get it, high stress environment. We had the poops. So that was happening. Sitka also pooped while they were doing stuff. They only got one shot. This is only for one shot each, except for Tally who got two, but we'll talk about that later. So Sitka also like stressed pooped, which is interesting because normally she's not that kind of dog, but I also understand because she is the nervous, nervousest of all the dogs. So like, I get it, stress poops, whatever. Um, and then Sitka and Rikin also peed. Like, they're getting picked up so that the vet can give them their shots. It was for the cow cough shots. They're getting picked up by the vet and they're just going. Like, spraying all over the place. I was like, oh my god, girls. I get it, you're nervous, but like, conceal. And then, I don't know, trying to get the dogs into the car. I was like, okay, let's take three that are done now, let's put them in the car, and then I'll wait with these three, and then I, um, Tally is allergic to the kennel cough, like, both medicine, if she gets kennel cough, she's allergic to it, and the shot, um, but if she doesn't get the kennel co cough shot, she'll get kennel cough, and then she has to take the medicine, so either way, it's just a crappy situation for her, um, so we had to wait, she got, like, an allergy, like Benadryl basically shot, 
um, beforehand, and then we had to wait 15 minutes before she could get the actual shot that she was there for. So while we're waiting for her, I take the dogs, the two other dogs that were left, to the car, and I accidentally squeezed the key fob um, while I was trying to wrangle Augustine, who was just being the worst today. She was escaping from her collar twice in a row. She's never done that before. Like, she's not a dog who I thought knew how to do that. Georgia knows how to do that. But I just think Georgia's a cat because, like, she has liquid bones. Anyway, so I'm wrangling Augustine. Savannah's following along beside me. I accidentally squeezed the key fob and the car goes off because I accidentally hit the alarm button. And I was like, oh, damn it. So I turn that off and then immediately go back to wrangle Augustine and I hit the car alarm again. And it starts going off and I'm like, oh my god. Then we had to wait, you know, we're all sitting in the car waiting for Tally to come back from her shot. And it was just a lot, a lot all at once. Um, I think the next time if we do anything, we're only taking two dogs. Or at the very least, if we're taking all six, we'll call ahead and be like, can you get us a room and we'll bring them in two at a time and then... You know, at least, because this was all just, like, in the hallway. Like, they're like, oh, it'll be really quick. It's like an in and out sort of thing, except for Tally. So we'll just do it right here in the hallway. And it's like, y'all made a mistake. But, <sighs> yeah, that was my stressful morning this morning. I think I woke up at 6. It was close to 7. Um, like 6.45, 6.50-ish to go and do this. It was a mess. I'm so sleepy right now, my dudes. It's not even that late and I'm like, it is hard to focus. I've been trying to read The Princess Will Save You, of course. I'm about 50 pages in-ish. And uh, I had to take a break because I was like, I just cannot focus. And then I decided trying to look up to see if I could get the audiobook for this, because at least I could like close my eyes and listen. I can't, but it was a good try. Um, and it's 7.52, so I don't know how late I'm gonna make it through the night, but I did the math. I have three library books that I need to read in a week, so that's like two days to read each book. This book is 350 pages, so that's like, let's just say 200 pages that I need to read today so that I can be on schedule and get these books to the library. I don't think I'm doing it. Okay, but I've been like, man, I'm really tired. I don't want to read. I've been reading this like a chapter at a time and then I put it down and then I go on TikTok. And then I pick it up and I read another chapter and then I put it down and I go on TikTok. It's not that much later, it's only like 9 o'clock. But, you know, we've been cycling through for the past hour or so. And I was like, I don't know, because I don't really want to be on TikTok. But I also don't want to read this book. TikTok keeps showing me we've moved on from the Cassian Dorking videos. TikTok's now new thing that it's going to show me is all for the game. TikToks. I don't even remember what year I read All for the Game. Was it last year or the year before? But anyway, like, it's been a while. It's not like I was actively in the fandom. But TikTok has decided you're going to be. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I don't want to pick up All for the Game again and read it. But like, what if I read some fanfiction? That would be really good. So I started looking up fanfiction. I'm so like, yes, I'm going to do this. I'm going to read fanfiction. I thought you were sleepy. I was seriously considering whether or not I was slumping or something, like why this book wasn't doing it for me. Maybe it's just the content. Maybe I just don't want to read a book. Maybe it's the stress of knowing I only have a week to read three books, because that gets me every single time. I'll be like, oh, I have a deadline, and then immediately from that point, from the second I remember I have a deadline. It just goes downhill from there. Maybe that's why. But anyway, I'm going to read some Andrew and Neil fanfiction. 
Okay, so it's been a couple days since we last talked. Last night, I spent some time reading The Princess Will Save You. I had to think about it. I haven't looked at it yet. Nice. And I got to page 117. Last night, I was just really bored with what I was reading. And I think that paired with the night before that, where I had started reading and then really felt like reading fanfiction, I just think I'm not all that into this book, but I still want to continue reading it. Like, I love this color. Color? I love this cover. And I really want to like this book. I don't know if just right now we're in a very boring section of the book or what. I try to look at some of the reviews on Goodreads to see what other people were saying, particularly the negative reviews, because the positive reviews are just going to say how people really liked this book, whereas the negative reviews were going to be like, I did not like this book because, you know, they give a little bit more into what they didn't like about the book rather than somebody just saying, I love the book. And a lot of people said that it basically has the same thing over and over again, just these two traveling through the desert for the entirety of this book. Or at least I saw some reviews that said like until 50% of the way through. I'm currently, I did the math at 33, so we're still in that section. And um, I don't know, it's like the, it sounds interesting. I don't care for the characters right now, but I feel like I could care for the characters. But it's just, I just don't want to read it. So since today is June 10th, and I don't have to give this back to the library until June 15th. I think I'm gonna sit on it for a few days. Um, I could always renew this, you know, if I need to get an extra couple of weeks in order to read it. But I think I'm gonna sit on it for a few days, figure out whether or not I want to continue reading it. Maybe I'll read like a couple more pages, a little bit more. But just, I don't want to have this book be my main focus. I want to put it more on like the back burner and think about it. I'm at my dad's house. It's been a hot minute since I recorded for this video. I don't know how many hot minutes that has been, simply just that it has been a single hot minute. I want to say it's been a couple weeks since I last recorded for this video. But I'm about to hop back into The Princess Will Save You and try it a little bit more. Uh, but before I did that, I just wanted to say that I'm at my dad's house because I feel like if I just start talking about this book and I forget to tell you that I'm at my dad's house, you're going to be looking at the background and going, where is this in your house? So I just feel they need to tell you. This is not my house. I'm at my dad's for Father's Day. And then some. The week of, um, or the week after. I don't know. I'm in a mood. I recorded two videos before this and just the way that I was talking, it's like, are you okay? What is this speaking style that you're doing? Um, but anyway, I'm going to get to reading a little bit more of this. I'm not sure if I'm going to eventually DNF it. That is a possibility. And if so, this video is still going to come out, even if I DNF it. But I um, figured it's been long enough that it deserves another chance, another attempt. I still have the bookmark in it from the last time that I read, so it's not like I'm starting from the beginning. But do I remember 100% what was happening the last time that I read it? I don't know, I think we're in the desert. Or we're running away. And the main character, whose name I can't remember, the girl, um... Wasn't she kidnapped? And she was gonna be sold into like a slavery thing? And she's like, you can't do this to me, I'm the princess. And the guys who kidnapped her are like, and I'm the Queen of England. <laughs> I'm going to reacquaint myself with this book. My father came in to the living room. He's sitting on the balcony. Turned on the TV to sports ball. Left. I guess I'm supposed to be watching hockey now. Listen, this isn't the best lighting you've ever seen from me. 
but it's the lighting we're getting because I don't feel like getting up. I am 130 pages into The Princess Will Save You. That's 10 pages more than I was before. I just, I can't do it. I really can't. Uh, I was looking up reviews to try and get myself enthusiastic for this book and make myself want to read it. I did read an interesting spoiler for like the end of the book that I was like, I kind of want to see that play out, but simultaneously, I just cannot get that far into the book. Like, somebody said in their review, and I am inclined to believe them from what I have read so far, that uh, most of this book is just entirely the characters walking through the desert. And so far, yeah, that's all I've read. Besides, you know, Luca being kidnapped and um, Emirande. trying to find him, you know, and search for him, and then she gets kidnapped. The rest of it is just walking through the desert and, like, meeting a couple of characters, but I don't, I don't care for any of the characters, side characters, main characters. I just, I don't care. Like, I've been struggling through this book for a long time. I'm 37% of the way through it. I did the math. And um, I just feel like if I don't like it at this point, I should not force myself to continue reading it because I've already sunk in enough time and energy to be 37% of the way through, you know? So even though I just did a video a little bit ago that said, you know, oh, I'm gonna try this again. It's been a couple weeks. I'm gonna see if I can do it again. Um, I, I don't think I can. So I'll take the bookmark out of the book and officially DNF it. With me DNFing this book, however, um, that's the end of this video since the video was entirely about the book. So um, I don't know how I feel about this video. Honestly, I'll probably like edit it and then decide whether I want to put it out into the world. But I mean, if this video is out into the world, um, you'll know I was okay enough with it that I allowed you to see it, I guess? I don't know. I'm just disappointed in all of the time and energy that I've put into this book and upset, I guess. Um, but thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, me talking about a book and just, I don't know, daily life things? I don't know what happened in this video, honestly. It's been a few weeks and um, either way, I hope to see you in the future in some other videos. I post every Wednesday and Sunday, I think I'm going to change it to. I haven't yet, but I think I'm going to do that. Or you can find me anywhere else on social media. All of my links are detailed in the end card, so you can take the social media accounts that you have, take the social media accounts that I have, link them together, and we can see each other again in the future.